Alrighty, so finally YouTube has confirmed that the stream is live. Welcome everybody. Gonna have to wait a little bit till Asus are going to start their stream, but if you're here, welcome. I don't know exactly how well I sound right now because I'm trying to figure out the volume. That's why I'm still playing some music in the background. You guys can let me know if this sounds fine. All right, let me refresh some things around here. Hi, Akin, welcome. Hey, Adam, welcome. Da -da -da mm -hmm. Okay, their stream should also start in about seven minutes. So today we are expecting to see some new models from Asus for their laptops. Um, but uh, <laughs> if you might have watched a video from Jared, he already talked about the 11th gen and the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti. I'm not sure if he's uh, still in the chat. Sounds a bit robotic. Um, it might be from the mic. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be able to fix that. It's either that or the internet, but thanks for letting me know. I could technically change to my other mic, but um, I don't know exactly if that is going to sound any better. Hopefully it's going to improve. Um, but I, as I was saying, if you have seen his um, video, you already probably know what you can expect from uh, uh, these uh, laptops. Or not technically from the laptops that Asus is going to be launching, but in general what they will be able to do and... Uh, what Intel's plans are with their newer chips. Technically, their highest end processor, the 11980HK, that one uh, should again be able to be better than the Ryzen 5000 chips, but that's most likely only going to be that 11980HK, but we'll see if that is indeed going to happen. Aside from the others, I don't know what, what to expect from them. Hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one of these laptops. I'm still <laughs> waiting on a laptop that has uh, the 11, either the 11700K or the 11900K. So the best of processors. Um, as for the RTX 3050, again, pretty much confirmed. Uh, they're going to... In, in my opinion, I don't know. We're going to have to see for the benchmarks, but I'm mostly excited for them. Um, I don't think they're going to be as good for gaming as they, as Nvidia would like us to, to think only, mainly because it has only four gigabytes of VRAM, but for people that still want to do some content creation that also doesn't even <laughs> require you to have more than four gigabytes of VRAM, that's practically going to be more than fine, especially if you are going to go for something that costs only... 799 because initially i thought those are going to be 699 as intel said in one of their other presentations uh which was for the new essential lineup that they're um, bringing to to the market a new category basically um i suppose those that are, will indeed be 699 will only have the mx450 or the xc graphics which kind of sucks but oh well Hi Arthur, how are you? Hi Mouse, welcome. Let's see, so another four minutes till they're going to go live. Mm -hmm. Gerald also said that he had a lot of fun during the Intel presentation. <laughs> I was talking to him a, a while ago. I got I got the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro with 5800H and RTX 3070, and it is amazing. However, I'm questioning myself that I should have gone with the new 11th gen Intel chip. They seem more powerful. Uh, depends on which ones. Again, I haven't seen any benchmarks aside from what uh, Intel uh, gave people or reviewers or the press, however you want to put it. And that was only, if I remember correctly, for the 11980HK. I quickly skimmed through those things and just going off of the leaks, I expected those to be better. I know that the 11600H, uh, was it? Yeah, something like that. I, stupid naming schemes from Intel. That one technically is going to be better than the 5900HS. Uh, 
from AMD, but it really depends on what you want to do. If it's only gaming, you'll be fine for you'll be fine with either or. Yes, exactly, and it's also only based on their press benchmarks, which knowing Intel <laughs> doesn't tell you much. I, I wouldn't trust their benchmarks. Let's just put it like that. Hey, Petit, uh, any news about the Zephyrus M16? I think we're going to see it today, uh, because they um, did post some things about it uh, before uh, in their teasers and whatnot, so hopefully we're going to see it today. Arthur says he mainly focuses on productivity and 5 Pro rips everything in relation to the GP66, so that's the MSI laptop, but if you want gaming, go Intel. Sure, yeah. Either or will be will be fine at this time. Like graphics cards are way uh, have evolved at way at a way faster pace than CPUs, so you'll technically be fine with either or. It depends on how much you want to see those temperatures spike up for certain Intel CPUs, because we've seen that uh, if you have watched videos from. I believe even Jared had some on that, but from uh, Steven from Honor Disown, um, when he did the live streams, um, especially on the Asus, what model was that? The Tough A15? That one was pretty um, pretty rough uh, in terms of temperatures. <laughs> Unleash the tiger inside your wallet. Man, I don't have my wallet on me right now, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not that full. Uh, it's already been ripped by a tiger. <laughs> All right, Red Fire is uh, on the in the chat already, but not here, unfortunately. He's just on uh, just on Discord. Is Asus already starting at this? Let's check. I'm gonna refresh that to see if it started. Gonna stop the music for now. So we're still on Discord as well as on YouTube, so you can post your questions um, either here or there, whatever feels better for you. I'll try to read both. I don't know how I'm exactly going to watch the live stream at the same time, but I'll try to find a way. I'll probably have to get my phone out. I just say I need a second monitor. <laughs> The satellite orbit bombing incident, also known as the Checkmate Tragedy, sparked recollections of the horrible event witnessed here right. just nine years ago. Are we continuing to ignore this? So, they're already starting with bombs. I like it. <laughs> is this too loud? Because I can't really tell if it's louder than my voice. Oh, well. Oh, I'll definitely have to mute that. Although I would love to listen to that music. Let's just put it like, like that. Now it's... Was, was that corn? I was trying to... Like I have just like the two, three notes that you guys probably heard as well. I'll uh, have to keep it muted for now. Because uh, <laughs> if they're probably going to take down the stream if that uh, goes through the content ID system. Activate shark again. <laughs> yes. All right. I'll put my own music in the background, or the one from uh, from Stream Beats. I like how it doesn't match it at all. Let me let me try to find something else from them. What does Harris Heller have that would match this? Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Can't find nothing for now. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them either here or on the Crowd Discord server. Links to that should technically be in the video description.
I actually don't know if they're going to start exactly with uh, the laptops that they're going to be releasing or if they're going to have their contest with drones and whatnot. Because they are also uh, doing a contest on their channel if you want to go and have a look at that as well. I don't know exactly what you can win, but freebies, am I right? One sixty hertz, four K, one twenty hertz. Doubt it. <laughs> Jared is ready to game. Who game? I know game. You like the music, Jared? Do you think it's it's fitting of this of these uh, things that they're showing here? I like how they started with like. Bombing, sorry, no, whatever. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Asus dropping the bomb. Garrett, if you're not going to sleep, feel free to call, man. <laughs> you already know more. <laughs> 589. <laughs> People want to see you spin. Yeah, I think Jared plays pinball as well. I've seen him spin during the last live stream. You look at this robot. Looks like the Aorus robot or whatever the heck they call it, but that's also a bird. SNSV. How would you actually pronounce SNSV, Jared? Like that or SNSV? <laughs> uh, no, you cannot hear it uh, for now, uh, Red Fire. The second way, so SNSV. I like SNS view better, but all right. It's Nusfu from now on. All right, in 10 seconds, let me stop the music and turn on, turn up the volume here. Just killing him. I'm here waiting for the show to start. Uh -huh. Man, it's a good thing you're here because we have some really cool new stuff launching today. I'm so excited. Oh, and look at that, right on time. Here comes our host now. Hi, Omni. Hi. Oh my. Good, thanks, Gallup. Uh -huh. All yours. See you later, folks. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Just like Omni, I couldn't be more excited to be here with you today. We've got some incredible new RG gear to show you, and I can't wait to give you a first look. RG is driven by a simple ethos, relentless innovation for those who dare. We channel that innovation... In I have no clue what that was, but sure, uh, let's, let's, let's allow it. Experiences that are truly out of this world. In January, we launched our most powerful and innovative gaming laptops yet. From the ultra-fast Trace Guard to the ultra-versatile Flow X13 with its optional Extreme Mobile external GPU. These became instant favorites. PC Gamer called the Flow X13 the most exciting laptop at CES 2021. Tomsky said it's a two-in-one laptop like no other. Today marks another I mean, milestone that was a pretty nice laptop. of innovation. ROG is always on the cutting edge. We're always the first to adopt new platforms and new technology. But I would still like to have that laptop with the 3050 or 3050 Ti inside. instead of the 1650 that it has. Fast and deadly. Our new laptops powered by 11 gen Intel Core H series processor embody that same spirit. They are literally powerful yet capable of blending seamlessly into their surroundings. And to tell us more about the new 11 gen Intel Core H series processors, I'd like to welcome our partner from Intel. Thank you, Asus, for inviting me to join you for this exciting launch. It's a thrill to be here. Wow, the microphone quality. To some of the most innovative and highest performing Republic of Gamers products ever, all powered by our latest 11th gen Intel Core H series mobile processors. 
11th gen Intel Core H series processors. Why no AMD? Because they already released the AMD laptops already, so nothing else to bring to the table now. Delivers the highest gameplay performance. We've tested our top 11th gen Intel Core H series processors. Yeah, without the mug switch again, probably not, not the best option. We are confident that gamers will be impressed with the results. These latest processors feature PCIe Gen 4 with 20 lanes to power the fastest storage and graphics. To be fair, man, I, <laughs> like Arthur, I, I got used to the cringiness of live events already. With Thunderbolt 4 and Intel Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, these can handle the most demanding tasks that gamers and creators alike desire. Our Intel engineers and Asus engineers collaborated jointly to develop some of the most innovative and highest performing gaming laptops out there, which we're very excited to show you very, very shortly here. Our engineers right, see them. work closely with Asus's R&D teams to enable the first 16 inch QHD 165 Hertz panel. This is a first in the gaming setup. So the M16? Super high screen to body ratios. And in order to equip the new Republic of Gamers Zephyrus with our i9 CPU, and the latest high performance GPUs on the market and deliver all of that with a thickness of under 19.9 millimeters, our Intel thermal teams consulted and collaborated on the design. Again, we're very excited mm. about our we'll see about those temps. and about the innovation that's coming out for gamers and creators out there with the latest Oh yeah, didn't Lenovo have uh, 16 inch as well? That was the, the 5 Pro, is, Thank you, Asus, isn't it 16? For the on the journey. Thank you for your partnership. We're excited. Congratulations on this launch. But it technically Thank has the body of a 15 inch. At ROG, we strive to make laptops for those who dare to want it all. No one is that more obvious than in the Those who dare to want it all. <laughs> the ROG Cypress S17. This is a truly premium, performance-focused machine. It enables not only ultra-immersive gaming, but also pro-grade content creation. Their designs are awesome. Incredible power into a premium chassis that's sleek and slim. Under the hood, there's up to But you shouldn't buy a laptop just for its design. This 11th gen CPU has 8 cores and 16 threads cut up to 4.9 GHz. That allows mm -hmm. it to play through even the most demanding games and creative workloads. To back up this awesome new CPU, there's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 laptop GPU Alrighty. which runs at 140 watt with dynamic boost. This GPU is built on the Ampere architecture, so it gives you realistic ray trace graphics and the power of AI. So it was that 140 that with dynamic boost or without it? Then next should pay attention. The power attention. you need for tasks like 3D animation and video editing. In Cypher's S17, the GeForce RTX 3080 also has advanced optimus. This technology combines All right. the long battery life of NVIDIA Optimus Finally. with immersive and free gameplay of G-Sync. To tell us more about the GeForce RTX 30 series GPUs with I think people Optimus, are going to be happy with please that. Please welcome our partner, Mr. KS from NVIDIA. Thank you, Galib. We're excited to partner with Asus on the ROG Zephyrus S17. It is powered by GeForce RTX 30 series up to the flagship RTX 3080. These GPUs are based on the award-winning NVIDIA Ampere architecture a second generation RTX architecture featuring real-time ray tracing and AI acceleration. The laptop is fully loaded with five different NVIDIA Max-Q technologies to deliver amazing performance in a thin design that you can take everywhere. So this is probably one we already NVIDIA know. DLSS, which delivers a massive performance boost at the same power through groundbreaking AI rendering. Didn't they There's use the very same Max presentation? I mean, Dynamic yeah, boost almost the, the same one at another GPU. event. GPU memory and CPU on a per frame basis. So your laptop I don't know if it was also another ASUS event or from another brand. I think it was from MSI. lets you pick your desired acoustic level and manages all aspects of the system to deliver the best possible performance at that acoustic level. Next, it has resizable bar, which enables the CPU to access the entire GPU frame buffer at once, boosting game performance. <laughs> no, I and can't still see it. It's advanced optimus. <laughs> It's I'm waiting for something more exciting, okay? I had a long day. As well I kind of want to sit up, but I should get my sit stand system desk up. Deliver optimal performance and reduce latency in all your favorite Ooh, they talk about my one-taps. In addition, 
all GeForce RTX 30 series laptops. Support NVIDIA Reflex for the lowest... Yeah, resizable bar is okay to have on a laptop. NVIDIA broadcast for AI-powered voice and video. I don't have to play good, but at least I can look good. Get the ultimate gaming experience That's what I always say. GeForce RTX 30 series in the ROG Zephyrus S70. To make the most of the powerful GeForce RTX 3080 GPU and the new Intel 11 Gen Core i9 CPU, the Cypress S17 features our cutting edge ROG intelligent cooling 2021 innovation. Mm, I somehow think that they're going to be more expensive than the AMD laptops. I don't know why, but it with our radical kinda seems that way. Cooling system, which Ass. A Ass plus. Yeah. <laughs> so cool air can be drawn from above. This increases airflow by 25%, which boosts performance and lowers noise. Liquid metal thermal compound on the CPU. All right, so using that again. Transfer. So That's nice. Are up to 10 degrees and uh, lower <laughs> perhaps than needed than for those chips. RG engineers develop custom equipment to apply this material at scale. And we use a special... The only problem the with this is that you're going to have to send the laptop device, back to a factory if you want to reapply it. Liability. Our new actual fans incorporate 84 blades with a carefully shaped aerodynamic wave pattern. They are made with an advanced liquid crystal polymer material. Thanks to the material, the blades are just 0.1 millimeter thin at the base. Yet they hold their shape at high RPM. I like the keyboard lift. Never tried it, but I would love to. Seems kind of interesting. So even I, I keep my Combined, keyboard lifted as well. I, I type like that. I know. S17 to deliver next level performance, all while staying as quiet and stealthy as a tiger. But this laptop has more to offer than Stealthy as a tiger, boys, you heard it here first. Laptop, the keyboard raises at a five degree angle to improve typing comfort. And we use optical. Yeah, that's the idea. It is more ergonomic. Which are incredibly precise and responsive. Having the kind of keyboard is also nice. Also makes common control easier to assess. Ooh. It's fully customizable. So you can optimize your flow. I don't know how that, how well that is going to feel, but I like it. I, I don't have a wheel on my keyboard, on my K65, I'll try to show it. But I have uh, dedicated buttons, which is awesome. With up to 3 terabyte of capacity. There's space for all your games and creative projects. The Cephas S17 also has a gorgeous 17 Quad HD, nice, 165. That's Game good. And G Sync and Optimus. Well done, Isus. The design kind of reminds me of the, the infamous already MacBook and Razer book, or whatever the app they call them now. To make the experience even more immersive, the Severus A17 features industry leading audio. There are six speakers. Including two pairs of force cancelling woofers All right. and Dolby Atmos technology to provide a rich spatial soundscape. Can't wait for Short Circuit to get this and say it sounds like crap. <laughs> this is truly a laptop that goes a step above and a leap beyond. So cool, right? And we're only just getting started. So come on, Gallup. Show them the other one. Show them the other one. All right, Omni. I was just getting to it. The Cephas S17 amplifies immersion I, no. with a bigger stage. But that's not the only way to draw you deeper. I will not say anything to that. User and media tell us that slimmer bezels help focus attention on the screen. Shrinking the bezels can also make the chassis more compact and easier to take anywhere. We challenge our engineer and designers to push the limit. I have no clue why companies do this. But maybe ever. with Boy, laptop companies, I, I can get this, it. Because they also the try to sell them to kids. With super narrow bezel on all four sides. The M16 fits a 16-inch display into a 15-inch chassis. Oh, it still has a webcam? Was that a webcam? That's what I want to know. To make this possible. The top Was that a fake dot? The panel option is really special. Its 16 by 10 aspect ratio provides more vertical space. The brightness hits up to 500 nits to improve usability outdoors. Not bad. And Pantone validation ensures accurate colors. All right, that's good. It's actually very good to have. High refresh rate and fast response time hit the sweet spot for speed. While adaptive sync ensures smooth gameplay with no tearing. Now do this it laptop the with a lower end chip <laughs> and with a 3050 or 3050 Ti. And you're good. Inside, and not put a honky dory price on it. 11 Gen Core i9 CPU that powers through demanding work like video rendering. You don't like that, Redfire? That sounds awesome to have full PCI-P3 coverage on a gaming laptop. Like the premium A17, this system uses liquid metal compound on the CPU, and it has two of our latest ultra fans. 
These ROG Intelligent Cooling 2021 technologies are available across the entire family of 2021 ROG gaming laptops. They help maintain incredible performance. So is it the same cooling that they used before? Focus that on the little can't details, be the best thing the ever. M16, an exceptional machine for your everyday routine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, give me a second to lower this for a so second. I fully agree with you that sRGB is enough for gaming, but degree. some people use their laptops for other things other than gaming. So <laughs> that's neat. Useless, but neat. I kind of fear that that trackpad is going to come into the way just like on the Lenovo Legion 5 laptop, like Dave2D mentioned. It probably would have been better to have that to the right a bit. And it's sleek of yeah, I can't argue about the track that either, eh? <laughs> the CNC mill lead hides shimmering prismatic film that subtly sets you apart. The huge 91 hour battery lasts long enough to get through the day. Not 99, but good enough. I'll laptops. take it. You can Ooh, with RJ45, nice. And USB power packs up to All right. Which Are they both Thunderbolts? To roam. The Cephas M16 blurs the line between gaming and art history to bring <laughs> two hours yeah it's likely that it's audience. only going to last like two it's three days two three hours than you might expect, thanks to a version with an all new nvidia laptop gpu yeah these new rlg laptops are really something spectacular spectacular Wait, something about a new gpu That's rtx 3050 so here's the story the new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 and RTX 3050 Thai laptop <laughs> GPUs. Thai. <laughs> yes, 3050 Thai boys. That means higher frame rate with DLS. I like the 3050 Thai. with ray tracing and smoother streaming with NVENC. And these GPUs are Who says NVENC? In the new servers M16. I feel like this is something that Dr. Ian Cutress needs to make up all about and ask people how, how they spell it because he has done that for uh, URL as well. <laughs> Just, just go on, oops, sorry for that. Just go on Twitter and check out uh, his polls on how to pronounce different uh, terminology. Purba power, boys. Thanks to the new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 family of laptops. Oh, so they are doing that for the X13. Nice. Well, nice. That's it. Okay. Now the Flow 13 makes sense. ROG. Omni. Oh, hey there, Gallup. I'm just recording my review. Omni. I haven't introduced this yet. Oh, whoops. Never mind, folks. Forget you saw anything. Ah. Okay, bye. I'll try to forget this, but... I probably won't. We love gamers. We love creating amazing new With RG, we love cringe as well. But more and more now, gaming is more than just an activity. It's part of people's lifestyles. So this year we decided to Omni reminds me of Jimbo? What was that crap called again? <laughs> that that Linus used? <laughs> our new creation from ROG design team. Something with a J. Zarvis, the lead designer of slash ROG to elaborate more. Hey Lucifer, welcome. How are you not playing Red Dead Redemption now? <laughs> Alright, I muted this for a second at least for you guys, because you can read the subtitles if you want. Um, so far, it wasn't all that bad, to be fair. I like that they put the 3050 and 3050 Ti, so they're essentially refreshing the um, uh, Flow X13 as well. This is what I wanted from the beginning. It kind of sucks that we're not getting that on the AMD variant as well, but oh well. See here, uh, let's see, because people are posting some pictures from Notebook Check right now. Um, thanks, Redfire, for that on our crowd Discord server. So, MSI pre sample overtaking the 5900HX by 1%. So, 575 points versus 569, which isn't all that great, I would say. I mean, sure. But then the 5900HX takes the lead. I by 4%, I guess. Uh, Redfire is this Cinebench? It looks like Cinebench, right? 
I don't know which one I would reckon R23. <laughs> yeah, the break stick coffee. Nice. Oh, R20. All right. Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, if the 11980HK is only 1 to 4% better, ugh. but again, it's only Cinebench, so we'll see how that is going to translate in gaming or any other uh, scenarios. All right, Alienware M15. Nobody wants that laptop. <laughs> Bevo pre sample. So 6% for that one on the Clevo sample. So basically, if you guys are interested in getting a laptop from XMG, from Metabox, from Electronics, and all of the other companies that are using the same chassis, it seems that for the 11800H and Cinebench R20, that's going to be anywhere between 6 to 17. No, 6 to... Yeah, 6% 6 slower, essentially, in multi-core, which I kind of expected that to be the case. And similar when it comes to uh, single core performance all right hey matteo or matteo um yeah right now it's just nothing super interesting to me that's why i also muted the audio and i'm already paying attention but they have announced um uh some new models um one that was super cool for um, the S17 uh, that is going to have up to an RTX 3080, up to 11900H, so not the HK. Um, that was their like big announcement, I would say, and then they just brushed really qu quickly over the uh, refresh of the uh, Flow X13. Okay, so and some other laptops that are going to refresh with the 3050 and 3050 Ti. The and now, just accessories that you're going to pay a lot for when you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, nah, that was only the Zephyrus S17, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Yeah, Akin also says no, so... He has a laptop compartment and you can detach the outside. I hope they're going to show that. Is now this is something that I really couldn't care less Here about. Caps. Whether you want a uniquely designed strap for Yeah, caps for gamers. I don't have my cap around design. here. I was trying to get my or cap, but how well. Flexible well design with swappable who can look label. There is something for everyone. We're proud of these new products and we want to give you I love how they're a lifestyle brand like Razer at this That's point. Why we've updated our ROG Citadel virtual experience to give you a first hand look at the new ROG Severus M16. Yeah, so this is the laptop they showed. M16. Oh, and M16. And the brand new there you go. Gear. They brushed over it now. <laughs> on Steam right now. Or you can stay Oh, and it was also this cringy little thing Citadel called Omni. Right here on the stream. Stay tuned, everyone. That's right. Now I'll let our streamer Jake introduce the new ROG Citadel experience. And then Jake will chat with the team to learn more about the product <laughs> we introduced today. Thanks, Galp and Omni. That was really awesome. Hi, All right. my name's Jake. When Galp and Omni aren't here stealing Jake the show, from I'm Jake, not from LMG. And, podcasts. In a second, I'm going to show you how you can experience these amazing new products firsthand. Well... Sort of first hand. All right, so I don't think I'm going to be streaming this part of the show because I'm muted for a sec. So they're going to go through um, their Citadel app on on Steam, like they had at their other event that they had. They're also giving two hundred and fifty bucks. Um, I'm trying to tell you what he says. So two hundred and fifty bucks. So if you want, you can go to. Uh, to Steam and download the app, and also they have a link on their YouTube channel. All right, so I'm gonna stop this part and switch to uh, something more interesting, but also let me mute it for myself. All righty, so this is Jared's video. If you have missed it, I highly recommend you go and watch it. Um, here we have the specs for the Tiger Lake H. Um, CPUs. If you have watched any of the videos that I've done previously, you probably already know what you can expect from them. Essentially, what you're getting new here, um, Wi-Fi 6E on board, 
more Thunderbolt 4 connectivity, more PCIe lanes, that kind of stuff, what you can expect, and boosting up to 5 GHz. Again, nothing new from what we already talked on on the leaks. Um, I'll let you go and watch that from, from Jared. But what was the cool thing about the 3050 and 3050 Ti is that um, for the Max-P variants, you're going to go over that 50 watts that the 1650 and 1650 Ti had. So might bring you a little bit more performance. I don't really know because four gigabytes of VRAM compared to six on these um, other cards. So we're going to have to see how that compares uh, what NVIDIA showed uh, the press and Jared in this case uh, were just a, a few uh, titles over here. And obviously they had to uh, pump uh, ray tracing. So whenever they mentioned that, you cannot really look at the results for the 1650, 1650 Ti or any other 10 series uh, or 16 series um, cards because those don't support, they, those don't have RT cores, so it's practically useless. Um, so yeah, nothing new here in true insert a big uh, company fashion, just those crappy uh, labels all the time and indoctrination basically. But um, it, it could still give you an idea of what you can expect if you're going to be using uh, a ray tracing. But looking at what the um, hardware unboxed uh, did on, on I think they also did them on Twitter. I'm not really sure, but on their uh, YouTube channel, they uh, they posted um, a lot of polls. And what I've seen from them is that most people, yeah, they want ray tracing, but it wouldn't be the the main factor to to sway them to to buy nvidia you know everyone just wants to get a free gpu at this point that can do and and they, that can do everything they want to and deliver the frame rates that they want to get so yeah if you haven't checked out their polls you can also go to their channel and and check that out as well and vote yourself so that's kind of what, what i've seen again for esports titles Sure, you're going to get the best performance out of an NVIDIA GPU and all that stuff. Um, they're going to start from 799, so I would say that's uh, that's that's fair. I also kind of expected them to start at 699, like Intel said, but oh well. Uh, that's most likely going to be with the MX450 or the XE graphics. Uh, other than that... You can read more about those stuff um, also on, on video cards or on any other tech website right now because there have been a lot of uh, tech um, yeah, tech updates and, and press releases. Uh, I've also seen that the 5e and the Pro and the 7e I laptop sorry, um, are going to be refreshed as well. So for any of you looking for those laptops, you can go and get more information uh, from them here because um, they post they they put up a press release other than that nothing that really took my interest so i don't think i'm going to have a separate video going out today but if there is going to be something more and more interesting than this then uh, you guys are going to uh, to get a dedicated video for it so if you have any other questions right now i'll be <clears throat> hanging around here in the in the chats um, just let me know if you have any. Otherwise, uh, you can also jump on um, our crowd Discord server where uh, I'm also going to be answering some questions that you guys might have. <clears throat> Let me see. I'm going to get to see chat. Hi, Riox. Welcome. Um, I don't know if you just jumped into the live stream now, but if you have, then um, you missed stuff. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm doing well. How are you? All right. So let's see on Discord. Why are you guys talking about LN2? <laughs> All right. Their new clothing line, yeah, man. It's um, it's the best stuff. I mean. Look at me, I'm, I'm clothing, I, I, you can actually <laughs> see it, but yes, I, I definitely want myself some um, ROG swag, you know, I always dreamed about that. Funnily enough, I do have some ROG swag from uh, when I went to DreamHack in Sweden. <laughs> I got uh, some freebies from them, from Lenovo, from some other gaming companies, I believe, yeah, from Omen uh, as well. 
Uh, that one I actually won myself. <laughs> I didn't get it as a freebie. And neither the uh, Lenovo stuff, because they were just throwing it. So technically, I did something to, to get it. Uh, from ROG, I don't even remember exactly how I got it, I think. Oh yeah, I do. Um, I won third place. Do people even say that? <laughs> uh, at a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 competition that uh, they had there. So that was nice. Uh, then I uh, put my, my girlfriend to my girlfriend at the time to uh, participate as well. And they were just like, hey, yeah, you know, get, get this T-shirt. Because <laughs> uh, it was obviously Battle Royale and she never played that. And she got into the match and like died within the first, I don't know, two minutes, something like that. Hi, Aravind. Hi, welcome. Yeah. I'm uh, good, Dirar. How are you? Just trying to, uh, they talked about the M16 after, oh, they did, hmm, yeah, I'm not really sad that I missed that, I'm probably gonna go and see what they're going to send the press and read that, because it's easier, like uh, Stephen from Gamers Nexus said as well, it's, uh, it's way easier to <laughs> have everything done in a PowerPoint. Well, now I'm just having a little chat before be, yeah, before I'm going to end the live stream because uh, Asus had theirs already. I'm going to go back to it just to see what else is going on at the time. But they're showing their Citadel thingy. You're going to see it in a moment, I hope. Yep. No, nothing about prices that I've seen. Maybe they're going to have that uh, after their whole uh, thing that they're doing right now, like a combination of uh, Flappy Bird and Dinosaur running on Google Chrome, not Chrome here. <laughs> I don't freaking know. I hate those things from uh, from companies. They're pretty cringeworthy. I'm sure we're going to see the prices in a press release, so I'm going to try to look for those whilst you guys think of uh, any other things that you might want to ask. And I just noticed that I wasn't playing the music to you, so it probably sounded like completely jank. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if we had anything. Uh, do you know when the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti will come out? Technically, should be this month. I believe Jared mentioned that in his video, so uh, please have a look at that as well. Otherwise, I'll go through the press release. Give me a moment and see exactly. I don't remember if they if they mentioned that. Uno momento. Mm hmm. I don't see a date being mentioned, but I reckon that would be this month or the next at the latest. <laughs> if I manage to get the RG trash can, no man. <laughs> that was from IKEA, right? That that would be lovely to get it and put all the nasty comments. There haven't been any lately, so I don't know. And I don't miss them, to be fair. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right. So June 2021, most likely, for the RTX 3050. That's what I can see. All right. Cool. Mm, reviews already? Yeah, uh, I was talking to someone and they told me that reviews should um, pop up in like half an hour. But okay, if they're already up, let me let me check. That's Ultra Book Review. All right, Ultra Book Review uh, for the M16. Let's see. 
Mm, I can't seem to find it. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a video. Alrighty, alrighty. I won't be playing it on okay. stream, but if you guys want to watch it, I'll post the link in a bit in the chat. There you go. That's for the M16. Thanks, Matteo. So if people want to watch that, go and have a look. I know some people were, were excited about that. Yeah, I won't watch that on stream, uh, Aravind. But I can see it here. See you later, Akin. Thanks for joining. I won't be here for long either. So, alright. If you guys have any other questions, um, you can send them now. Because I'm going to be here for another two minutes or so. And then I'm uh, going to go and see what else is going on in the world. Probably get something to eat and drink as well. It's been pretty annoying to get into this like right after work. So they're showing the S17 on their stream. If you want to see what uh, what they're talking about, uh, you can go on their stream after this because I'm gonna end it soon. Um, what's the price of the new laptops? Yeah, they haven't really said during the uh, live stream that I hosted. Yeah, the S17 looks really great. Uh, I want to ask you if it's a great idea to buy the Lenovo Legion 5 with 240Hz and 10750H and RTX 2060. Again, what do you want to do with it? That's always the question. Like, as a laptop itself? Sure. Should be fine. I, 240Hz is not <laughs> going to help you all that much, because I don't think the 26 is going to be able to get 240Hz on any titles, but yeah. Except if it's something like Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> so if you are someone who really wants to play Rainbow Six Siege, at 240 hertz, sure. No problem, Sirx. So if you, um, <laughs> yeah, or CSGO, yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. And I'm fine with 144, 144 hertz as, as it is. I don't play that many competitive titles anymore. I used to play a lot of CSGO back in the day, in Rainbow Six. Got about 3,000 hours in CSGO, rookie numbers, I know. And uh, 500 in Rainbow Six Siege. So, right now I couldn't care less about them. Been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, believe it or not. Just because that game is endless and uh, I'm kind of feeling in the... Uh, I'm falling in the same trap like others have so uh, playing for 60 plus hours but not really enjoying it because it's the same crap all over and over again but do you think that the rtx 2060 will be better than the rtx 3050 ti on laptops uh, good question um depends on the title if that title requires more than four gigabytes of vram which Trust me, there are going to be a lot of games which will, then, um, yeah. The 2060 might might be better than it in certain scenarios. Not all, though. But most likely more than one. <laughs> Alright, uh, Valhalla seems fun, gotta check it out sometime. Yeah, you should, just get it on a sale, though. Don't, don't pay full price for it. And be aware that uh, there were some bugs with the game. Uh, no, I shouldn't try StarCraft 2, trust me, I, I don't like that game. Um, and I don't really play RTS games in general. <sighs> yeah, again, so Valhalla seems fun, um, but get it on a sale, please. Uh, there were some times where I just wanted to delete the game because it would just crash, or uh, there was a main quest that I had that was bugged and I had to wait a month and a bit for it to get fixed and apparently it was bugged since the launch so that's horrible <laughs> and there were some other bugs with, with the game that essentially wouldn't allow you to finish it so yeah. don't get too excited about it it's not the best game if you play origins 
this, in my opinion at least, I know some people are going to tell you otherwise, but at least how I felt it, uh, it felt more as a, more like a refresh rather than a new game, a refresh of um, at Origins Odyssey, which Odyssey was a refresh of Origins essentially. Uh, so possibly the same for RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti Mobile. Uh, Oh, there is shipping um, May 17th, says uh, Redfire on our Discord. Um, cool, that would be nice. But that's only for the Tiger Lake H laptops, which technically should include those with RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti GPUs as well. So maybe we're going to get to those cards in May instead of... Um... I know from some people that... So, reviewers, that they're going to get some RTX 3050 laptops. I won't be naming any names, though. <laughs> uh, all right. I got a message from uh, Stephen from Ord, the son who <laughs> was going to co-host with me today. Uh, I believe he thought that the stream starts at uh, <laughs> at 3 in his local time, but uh, unfortunately the ship has long sailed. <laughs> but you should definitely go and check out his channel if you guys are interested in that. He does a lot of nice reviews. Uh, RTX 3050 laptop announced. Yes, they have announced that. Asus confirmed it as well, as well as the refresh for the Flow uh, X13. It's going to have the um, RTX 3050, I'm not, or the 3050 Ti. Um, and there were two other laptops that they're going to be refreshing with those GPUs. So I'm excited for that. I, I'm really excited to see if uh, they're going to be better than the um, 1650. That was a non TA version. I'm pretty sure on the current AMD version of the Flow X13, which so far out of all the laptops was the most interesting to me, not the best one, the one that I would consider 10 out of 10 times would be the Lenovo 5 Pro that everyone and their dog talks about. Yeah, yeah, that's why, yeah, uh, so Matteo said that the 3050 seems interesting just because of DLSS and I agree, that's what makes it the most interesting card at the moment for me as well. Uh, I, I just think that it would, it could have been the perfect card if they had at least six gigabytes of VRAM for it. Like if they would have done that, that would have been a really compelling option. And I haven't seen any actual reviews, benchmarks for those things other than the leaks. But I don't know, just the idea of it seems, seems pretty cool. I actually don't know if it's going to come to desktop as well, uh, since it's only mobile so far, but in the current times, it doesn't surprise me. If they would launch that, then it would be even the same price as the 3060, so 399 <laughs> allegedly, of course, because we all know these cards haven't sold for 399 or there have been like three <laughs> people that were able to buy it at that price, then that would still be... Actually, I'm not going to say that because it wouldn't. <laughs> uh, we need cards that are under 200 bucks. Would be still okay at 250, I would think, but not with 4 gigs. So if they would have had the 3050 desktop with 6 gigs and it would have been 250, maybe. Maybe it would be worth it. And I don't say that in the sense that I would want to pay 250 for that card. Is more of the idea that like maybe not everyone is going to want to buy that card and you're going to get more options and something something is going to make more sense. I don't know. It's it's really complicated to talk about those things in the current times. The worst thing is to find a good laptop or a low price and then starting thinking if it's Max-Q or Max-V. Yeah, I know. Then you need to find the TGP and it's gone. Yep. I've heard that story before from people saying that they wanted to buy a laptop and then it uh, went out of stock because they were looking for some extra information. Luckily, for people who want to get a Lenovo 5, a Legion 5 Pro, there is a Discord server for that, which I found out about, I think, last week, something like that. <laughs> found out to be hilarious and there's over a thousand people and pretty active over there, so yeah. That kind of shows you how much people want that laptop, essentially. 
GPU prices are wacky right now. 3060 is like $1,600 in my country, and normally we have everything near MSRP. Yep, I know. Uh, the prices are have skyrocketed in Germany as well. And I think if you want, even if you want to go AMD, or especially if you want to go AMD, those have gone up in price quite a fair bit. And even before it was even worse like it is now. So three months ago, I think I was talking about this in, in my videos even. Uh, I found a card for 1650. Oh no, I found a card 1650 in Jordan for. Oh man, that's that's really expensive. So 1300 US dollars. Yep, I have a friend that uh, managed to buy a 2060 for 600 bucks. And by bucks, I mean euros, not US dollars. So that would be 700 bucks. That card never costed as much, but oh well. But then on the other hand, I have a friend in the Netherlands who uh, somehow manages to always find cards close to MSRP, let's say. Um, he got an RTX 3070 for 899? Hey Steven, welcome. You came to the after party. <laughs> We're gonna I'm gonna end the stream in like two, three minutes. <laughs> you missed it. But how's your review of the Lenovo Legion going on? That's what I want to know. Steven is going to have a uh, review on the 5 Pro, if I'm not mistaken, Steven? I know he already did a video on it. Adam, they haven't mentioned anything about pricing, but something tells me it's not going to be anywhere. So it's not going to be cheaper than 1600 US dollars. I wouldn't expect them to be cheaper than that. And go do that, Steven, and I will... Uh go and take care of other business as well and i should probably have something to eat as well because i went into this live stream right after work right after talking to, uh, to uh jared about some stuff because <laughs> he was uh, here in the chats uh, early on as well that man never sleeps so thank you everyone for joining i'll um see you in the next video I'll try to um, end the stream. If you have any other questions, then do uh, make sure you're going to go to crow.com and you're going to find our Discord server right there. You can get more information if you want to talk about the laptops and all that good stuff. Uh, just don't do it in general. There are uh, separate channels where you can talk about specific things. So please have a look at that. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.